threats from AI pose special challenges for national security. The technologies are driven by commercial entities that are frequently outside our national security frameworks. The technologies are advancing quickly, typically outpacing policies and organizational reforms within government. Assessments of the technologies require expertise that's concentrated in the private sector and that's rarely been used for national security. And the technologies lack conventional intelligence signatures that distinguish benign from malicious use, that differentiate intentional from accidental misuse, or that permit attribution with confidence. For several years, uh, RAND has had a project on something we call truth decay, uh, which is the vulnerability of democracies to disinformation attacks um, and other attacks against uh, norms of evidence used in, in policy debates. Uh, one concern that, that we've had for, for several years is that the application of AI to disinformation uh, campaigns could radically reduce the costs and increase the scale and speed of text and speech potentially that's used in, in disinformation in ways that are very difficult to distinguish from human-generated forms of text and speech. I think one important area uh, is in research on distinguishing uh, uh, generative model text and speech compared to ones that are authentic. I think all agencies would, would benefit from being able to draw in greater expertise. Second is having um, a common framework uh, for AI standards that all federal agencies can, can leverage. And then third, I think shared federal procurement rules that allow agencies to be developing tools that are built towards common standards with a common test framework.